going to switch over to the next match, though, immediately with the delays. Uh, they've already gotten started. Two rounds in, Mousepaz is up 2-0 over Tempo Storm. And it is on Inferno, so... We'll see how this goes and pays off. I'm not in yet. I don't know who, if you know who's on which side. Mousepaz is on the Terra side. They just won the pistol round. And they're looking like they're going to win this third round. Okay, so that's a pretty solid start. Again, Mousepaz is the... Team with only one win right now, 1-9 on the season. They need to definitely revitalize this because, as we mentioned, similar to what we said about Affinity, is that you know relegation does have to be a factor for some of these bottom teams. Zek, he'll find Stannis Law, and that means it's down to just Rex and Glorans. And with only pistols, they'll just look for exits at this point. It's their best option. As the guns will come out in the next round, they want to try and limit the terrorists as much as possible early on and prevent them from getting potentially a second buy if they do lose that next round. So Glorans does the job at least... To some extent, and take down Demise Fruit. It's the better of them in the end, and that means it's not going to be 3 0 Mouse Pass, but here we go. Guns are going to come out, so we haven't necessarily missed all that much. No, not not at all. And that, that was actually a good, a pretty good eco round there out of Tempo Storm, getting three kills. Although in this round, zero kits for them so far. Stanislaw buys up full utility instead of buying a kit. Shazam with that AWP. He's going to head over towards the B bomb site. He's got that. Got that push to get out towards car very, very quickly. No op responding yet on the mouse pass size. When it does come into play, it's going to be Zek with it in his hands. That's, look at this, though. That smoke, fire, everything in possible position right now to keep mouse pass at the bottom of Banana. Stanislaw's going to go back inside the site. Shazam, though. He's going to wait and hold the angle. He's got the op, so watch for Stan to get towards Spools and throw out a pop flash to cover him off. But Glorans, he gets aggressive down apartments. He manages to find him. Zek responding with only one, though. Look this at this flank. Look at this flank from Rix. He pushed it all the way in the halls. He's going to jump down on the hate card. He's going to be right behind him coming up banana. This could be brutal. There's going to be a three-man pitch by Tempo Storm onto this mouse spaz group. Lawrence just has to sit back and watch the obituary because he may not even get there in time for all of this to transpire as Rex is like you said already on that flank because of the fact Lawrence was already spotted but Fruit actually finds the entry so Lawrence may need to be some contributing factor here as Rex does get in he does find two and they're all still blind how are they blind for so long there must have been a second flash to come out because Pauly he was blind for almost 10 seconds there yeah, they, or they just ate that flash with their eyeballs and I mean that flank from Rex great aggression from Tempo Storm there even with Lawrence just uh, peeking out of those halls and then getting away, getting into a little bit of a battle, but Rick's just counter-pushing behind him all the way through the halls. Great read by Tempo Storm. We'll see now if... Again, they lose that first gun, they can still buy. We'll see now if they can make up for it, but otherwise... TS are going to roll right back into this game by forcing the economy of the terrorists. Shazam has the op. He's going to head directly toward middle. It's going to be only two players heading toward B, but Hades throws out the smoke from CT. That buys them a lot more delay, and it also puts that smoke a little bit deeper down, but actually it ends up in the middle, which is wise because Pauly and Impsta were already in position to push past it. So it locks them in position. Doesn't mean that there's a naked fight between Stanislaw, who now puts out the fire, and, and, ooh, I think he spotted one falling back, has information that they're there. He just needs to be careful not to get caught, because Rix isn't necessarily in a, a great position to go for an immediate trade if he dies in the alley. He is in a good support position for a flash, though. I'm kind of surprised that, uh, that Mousepaz didn't push through that smoke hearing the, hearing the M4 spam through it. They knew there was going to be a reload at some point. They could have gotten aggressive there, but... Not even spreading out, pretty much committing towards a B hit very, very early on. 50 seconds left of the round and four members of Mouse Pass still in the banana. He's lurking up, looking to throw this set smoke as well, so they're definitely looking to execute at this point on to the B site. Stannis Law, he needs to be acting quite solid. That pop flash, or excuse me, that counter smoke rather to go out will at least delay them a little bit further, but the pop flash to come through, it's going to be the main thing over the top as well, and Rix is going to get caught by that, so now the flash that comes in response is wise and very well done because it catches Pauly who rushes through regardless, and he's completely blind and helpless when he comes around the corner, and Stan finds the only gap in the smoke and makes it work for two, almost three, but Insta, he's going to find him in response. Shazam does come around, though, from CT spawn with the op in his favor, and Rix, he'll close out the round. With a second for him, so the hold actually looked good. I thought they were going to get caught out of position. I thought that set smoke they were going to throw was going to force Rix to rotate back through construction and leave Stan all by his lonesome, but it pays off for them. They actually made that work.
Yeah, well, Rick's threw a very nice molly that delayed the hit long enough for Stanislaw to come unblind, and then, like you said, he found he finds a gap in the smoke. So, uh, unfortunately, Mouse Paz one just goes a little bit too far wide and gives Stanislaw pretty much a you know free shots. So now it's going to be an eco round, three to two for Mouse Paz, but this might just get evened up right here. Only one flash in their hands as well. That's going to be on Imstun. He's just going to pop flash mid, and they're going to run right through this smoke. They're not going to find anyone, though. A very passive setup at a Tempo Storm. But there's Shazam with the AWP from far back, and everyone else is just getting cleaned up by Hades and Glorians. And there we go. There's 3-3, three, three, just like that. They break it, they bring it back. And then we'll see if Mouse Pass can fix it again, because... Three rounds is definitely not enough. You're going to have to win some guns to do it on Inferno. Between these, oh, we do have one. Uh oh, who do we lose? Hades. Oh, there you go. So we'll have to wait and see if he can get back in immediately. But we between these two teams, I think Tempo Storm's kind of been a grind on both halves this year. I wouldn't necessarily say their CT has been majorly advantageous over uh, over anyone else. Uh, no. I mean, they're they're that team who. I mean, it, it, it's, it was tough because I got a, I watched them one or two games uh, last season in Premier. They went undefeated, and they really didn't have too much competition. They, they were just able to out-aim anyone, and I think coming into this season, I mean, they've made some roster changes, but uh, still at times you see that glimpse of a team that just wants to get into get into duels and out-aim everybody, and, and that's just not going to work for you. I mean, when, when your players are on, obviously, it works great, and when they're not on, uh, or going against, you know, some of these other professional like Cloud9, players with, with yeah, great aimers and island. Yeah, you, you can't at all. Uh, so you're seeing a little bit of a struggle in that regard. But obviously picking up Shazam and picking up Hades, that's going to give them something to work with and some experience to build off of. The other thing I just looked up, I, I made mention of it, that it's pretty much a grind on both sides. It's almost 50-50. It's CT win rates 48%. T win rate forty six percent, so that obviously indicates that they are below five hundred in terms of even rounds right now. But in the last five maps on the T side, they've only picked up twenty percent. Yeah, that's harsh. That's, that is yeah, brutal. that's super harsh. So look, I mean, if that's going to be the trend again tonight on a map like Inferno, it very well could be because that indicates to me that execution necessarily hasn't been there, and obviously Inferno kind of relies on it. Of course, the one on one battles you can win a few picks here and there, but that implies to me we've got to watch for their CT side to be completely dominant. They've pretty yeah. much got to win it early. Yeah, they're definitely going to need it. They're, they're definitely going to need a big half here. I mean, that 20% that is just kind of brutal with, uh, you know, especially with someone like uh, Hades who called for Mythic last season with Shazam. You, you have a lot of experience. Shazam, uh, in the past, you know, before getting picked up by Cloud9, was a great opera at finding opening picks for his team to, to open up hits, open up executions and bomb sites. So he's going to have to be able to do that do that here. I mean, part of it, too, is last season, Rix was the number one performer in Premier, and I think getting getting bumped up to this next skill level, uh, I think he's been a little bit inconsistent. He's had some good matches, but overall, he's, he's not having the impact that he had last season, and I think that's just an adjustment period that he'll have to get used to. Yeah, there's definitely always adjustments. I mean, Shazam sets... I won't even call him inconsistent. I, may, I, I think more streaky. He's either hot for a while or he's cold for a while. It's not like it's back and forth inconsistent every game. It's you either get him for a couple of weeks and then you lose him. And then, I mean, that's kind of the way it was from Denial to Cloud9. So if he gets rolling, there's a good chance it'll continue for at least a bit of time for them. But Smoke this time is going to be super deep on Banana. It's actually going to be a stack, a bit of a stack at least, because they've got the op on Shazam and his, his spawn was... Definitely B-side oriented, so they'll try and get him up on top of the car to spot over top of that smoke. The problem is that when you run these three B setups, you pretty much have to look for an early confrontation. If it's not there, fall your third player immediately to B, or brother to A, and okay, now Rex is going to go. So that's, that's the correct call. So they'll leave Shazam with the op inside B. He could have gone as well, but they've got to get someone out regardless of who it is. Yeah, but having uh, having three over towards B, you said it weakens the defense. The, the A players are playing a little bit more passively, and this gives full halls control to Demise and Imsta to see what they can do with it. Three players primed to come up mid. They're going to be going against, up against a sandwich here at the brackets, though. Shazam's still waiting. But Imsta's got around the corner at top mid. Stanislaw's in the cubby. Oh, if he had it slid out too soon, he would have been spotted, but they line it up. Imsta walks directly out, and unfortunately, Zek goes down, and then Stan just has to walk out to a confused Demise, wondering how his two teammates' bodies ended up on the floor in front of him. And he finally realizes, and very quickly realizes, that Stan was waiting in the corner for them all along. As Paulie, he'll find Hades. 
Now Spaz show a little bit of life, but unfortunately two men down in the round as Glorin's looking for more. He'll want fruit and he's completely blinded. So well team played that time to get the flash out. Bomb goes down. Polly with only five HP can't do much at all. But yeah, desperately possess the thought of what might have been, although he does find Shazam, so he can at least try and get this up, but unfortunately, with only seven seconds and five HP, are they gonna catch him? Actually, they may not, so this could be a small victory. Uh, yeah, yeah, it could be. I mean, I guess it's a small victory. He's not gonna get any money, which is a little bit brutal. Uh, but they should be more than likely on an eco round. I'd be surprised if Paulie didn't pass that over to Zach, who's their opera. But if you're going to take up mid like that, the big thing is, I mean, the best way to clear out that cubby, just drop a Molotov in it. Especially if you're going to, I mean, there's no point in really doing it silently. Once you put those smokes out, you know, Tempo Storm knows Mouse Spaz is there. There's no point in really being too sneaky about it. Just drop a Molotov in that cubby, force him out, get that kill, and execute your strategy from there. Uh, that, that's one thing, I mean, all teams in North America really struggle with it. Some of these move-ups definitely do as well. It's it's utilizing mollies to gain map control. The Molotovs to burn people out of position to clear spots for you to take that map control. Lawrence this time at Halls. Does sort of nade down. Maybe get more control of it early. Ricks actually finds Zek. Smart play falls immediately inside the arch, but he wants to go back out and repeat it. Hades is kind of in an interesting swing position. He'll cover off Glorns, and in fact, he flashes them back into the halls and be able to cover for the front of Boiler, but he was far enough back, he also could have gone to Rick, so that's potentially why Rick's pushed back out, because he would have had the cover if required. Fruit, though, he'll readdress the situation at the hallway. He finds Glorns overdue on rent and completely evicts him, as Rick's now is going to find Imps on his secondary peak, and unfortunately... This leaves again, Mouse Pass, two men down, and they do try and peek out Fruit this time, does find Rick's Bomb is down on the ground, but they should be able to recover that, or can they? Not if Shazam does that, he pops out and Polly goes, and Shazam finds Fruit right after. Yeah, so strong defense there, Rick's just showing off there on the wrap side with a couple of nice shots. Shazam with that up really hasn't had a chance to do much, but Mouse Pass got to have their first huge buy in some time now. Four Molotovs. I mean, Polly's the only one really hurt from saving that one round. He's only got one smoke with him, but everyone else has got smoke and Molotovs, so this could be just a full-blown execute. And they've kind of got to stay out of those... They, oh, look at this push out, actually. Out of Tempo Storm, not even going to give him a chance to execute. Santa's Law grabs the first one. That Zek goes down early. Some trades. But really, Tempo Storm has all the map control until Fruit evens things up into a three-on-three. Round three is at least better off than they have been in the last two rounds, but unfortunately, not by much now. Shazam finds fruit, but there's Demise. He takes that hall control, comes out behind. And now they've got an opening into the A site. The problem is that bomb is so far away. It's dropped intentionally way back inside the kitchen. So not only Zip to have to go back down the stairs, he's got to climb up the stairwell into the building. Oh no, I take that. Wow, overlay. Did it really just throw me off that far? Yes, it did. Wow. On my overlay, that looked like it was inside the kitchen. GG, Volvo. Please fix. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Either We're gonna way, get it through was this. on the stairs. We will get through this. Okay, so here they have two Molotovs, and they and it looks like they want to go wrap side. Rix is just going to peek out. He's going to get a nice shot on Demise. And now there's too good of a crossfire. Hades and Rix are just going to clean this up. Oh, Imsa gets the first one. Hades got a little bit dangerous, but he does recover nicely. Covered indeed in Tempo Storm, six straight rounds. Does give a full money bonus the way of Mouse Spaz. And again, we talked about the fact during that brief pause that we had that they need this CT side to carry them based on their lackluster performances as of late on the uh, on their terrorist side. So this is looking okay for them. Shazam again with the op. Now, where does he go this time? Spawn favors them. Actually, he's got a really quick spawn. He's already at mid. He may actually catch them coming up the stairwell. Does take that first shot. Not able to connect just yet, though. So has to fall back, and in fact, he gets tagged down to 15 in the process, so Glorin's now, he throws out a smoke and a nade to try and counter off that damage, but so far, no one's caught it. And they'll get away with that early damage on uh, Mouse Pass's side. Yeah, Sh Shazam forced back. Now, that's the second time he's gone for that mid-peak early, and they've really punished him for it. He did get a leg shot that time, at least, so him says a little bit out of the action. But they haven't, I mean, once again, it's just kind of, they make a presence in mid and they're going to fall back. Four players already over towards the B-bomb site at the moment. And they're going to creep up this now that the deep smoke fades. The two players there, Stanislaw has one smoke remaining. Uh, Rix as well has a Molotov, so they're going to be able to delay this very, very well. Polly's going to be the only one still over at A. He's interestingly inside Boiler, which is a reasonable position to at least lurk out. 
Go and give them a little bit of space to go for this execution, but Shazam's already rotating over because Pauly hasn't got aggressive enough, and as a result, they come right through. Rick's already in there on the spool. He gets up above and high and almighty. He'll find Demise. There, that is some massive miscommunication from Mouse Fez. As soon as that smoke dropped in B, they looked like they wanted to run away. The bomb was all the way down in D, but it's kind of working out. It's working into a double fake, so they have a small opportunity where Stanislaus is the only player at this B bomb site. A small opportunity indeed, because Rix comes back and through the smoke, he's doing a little bit of damage, but Stan, he's doing more than damage. He's getting killed. Sex goes down. Imsta's going to fall to Stan again, and now it's all up to Fruit, and Rix will catch out. Actually saves his teammate. And Stan catches him out in the backside of the site toward Emo. And Tempo get another round. You're right, though. That was quite peculiar because I thought Pauly, if he'd gone really early, might have been able to hold Shazam on the A site. Instead, they second guess themselves based on that timing. Because it was a single player that went into A. Or rather, into B. Yep, and then the rest of them just stayed back. It almost looked like they were kind of doing a slinky. They got all spread out uh, between the A and the B a bomb slinky. sites. Hey, you like that? I, I miss slinkies. Except when they get tangled, they suck. He had to go for the steal one, dude. Oh, Shazam, nice pick out of the apartments. He grabs one, that's the bomb, but... Oh, nice recovery. Imsa is just blasting away at him, and he just casually looks up, takes him out. And Tempo Storm just mopping up this eco round. I thought Shazam was done for when those shots came in over the roof. <laughs> I did it was too. was an impressive shot, and look at that. Stays alive long enough to give himself a third. So well done, Shazam getting aggressive. That gets scary, actually, when they start to get that much confidence. Obviously, they knew the situation was going to be an eco, but it still can be problematic. It's going to be five AKs this time to go against them. Yeah, but look, and, at, the and, I mean, look at the economy behind Tempo Storm. It's just so brutal, so daunting a task for Mouse Spaz to be able to come back. And interestingly enough, Shazam went back over to B again because of the spawn. And he's got, this is really passive. For a 3B setup, this is extremely passive. Well, they might want to... Uh, Shazam's just going to be here for one shot, or maybe until for like another five seconds, and then he'll run back, or someone will. It looks like it's going to be Rix, actually. So they're just trying to kind of switch out the positioning of the AWP. The difference is this time, compared to the last time they were in this three stack, is they actually did get aggressive on Hall. So Glorin's peaked. There's a bit of a confrontation involving two flash grenades that held back Demise, so Imps is just getting inside Boiler now. That allows Rix to get over in time. He's still staying extremely passive. Shazam, though, clever up above the smoke, finds Pauly. And things look okay again for Tempo Storm early on. Double flash off the wall, a single smoke out in front of Patio. That'll pro prohibit the vision, but look at Shazam. He's waiting inside the arch, but not if he gets a shot like that from Zek. He might not need the op to counter him out. He uses just the AK to win the duel, and it's hurt to find Rex. Now they're going to wrap. They look like they have control of CT, but Hades is hot on their heel, and someone has to stay behind to make sure they cancel him out, because if they don't, they'll be pinched between him and Stana's Law as soon as they arrive, and that might be the case, because Hades is now lurking through. Demise, he'll smoke him off inside Speedway. That gives him a bit more space, but Stan, he's waiting on the cross. He finds only the one so far. Goes for the reload. Has to be swift on his movements because he's got Demise wrapping around the corner and he'll get the headshot on him as well. And it's all left to fruit. One on three, and unfortunately, he's already spotted by Hades, so they know his exact positioning, and Glorans will be able to slide out and catch him off. Yeah, that round, Mousepaz actually got some entries, gained some control on that rap side, and they try and split into B, but from there, they just get absolutely shut down, so... The Tempo Storm recovers very, very nicely. And Ma Mousepaz in these mid-rounds just don't seem like they can get anything going. I mean, if they're not getting punished early on, the mid-rounds just not enough kills go in their way to open things up. And they've been shut out since the pistol round and the ensuing eco rounds. And this is a brutal terrorist half for them. And this is that monster CT side that we were saying Tempo Storm needed. Look at Shazam. He's so confidently peeking out wide. He gets flashed back, unfortunately, but... He's going to counter it, and he's going to go for another peek, and he is going to find one. Zach completely blind, trying to get him to some cover. Can't find it, though. Again, they get inside the hallway, but they haven't pushed up too far. Imps just got the bomb inside Boiler this time, so a little bit more of a commitment, but no one over on B. Now, this is the interesting play when they get an early pick. And they don't see much more aggression on B. This is where... Okay, so they are going to do it. Rix is going to fall off B early. They can actually get a player back over to A on that read alone. So Stan goes passive. Rix is now in a position where he can, as soon as they call, get into the arch quite quickly from Speedway. So this is an excellent read from Tempo. 
Smoke does go out. That blocks the vision from Shazam, but Glorence, he's realizing it, although he hasn't spotted it, realizing they're all coming his direction. He pops out a little bit late. Imsa, he now has a double because they give up the cover. No one takes the responsibility, and now look at that. They pop out, and Pauly, he finds Shazam and Rixu. Shazam ran into Rix, trying to dodge for cover with that up, and that all started from lack of... I guess coverage. No one watching the I door mean, from was... apartments, no one watching the front of Boiler, and they get so close to the site before someone realizes they're there. Yeah, that was a, that was a brutal round. Sanslaw's gonna have a lot to do here. It is spot one, but there's nothing he can really do in this round. I might just want to grab that op and save it. I mean, you're right, there's just no cover. Actually, he looks like he wants to go for this, so... Maybe he's just trying to find one more kill before he backs away. And no reason not to, they've got tons of economy. I mean, that, you're, you're right, there was no cover. And the big issue was Hades playing inside the bomb site. Spent about five seconds during that hit with flashbangs out. Not sure if you wanted to throw one or not. And that's when they were streaming up into lane. So they, they pretty much got all the way up towards the truck for free. Hades didn't even have his gun out, so couldn't do anything. Uh, he gets punished, and his teammates gets punished for that mistake as well. I mean, the pit player... Lawrence, he popped out, he saw, he spotted the first player cross from Boiler in front of the truck. And then he couldn't find the angle, and by the time he realized there was one above him coming out from the balcony on apartments, and popped up to take the first shot, three players were in front of him, two of which were already in the site. So there was definitely a lack of timing. But Impsta, he's gonna go ahead and find two. That opens things up a little bit, managing though to fall back inside the site is Rix after getting one kill in response. Flashes himself out, but Pauly's wise to it. He dodges that to perfection. And now, suddenly, Mousepaz is showing a bit of fight left in this because we're getting to the latter stages of the first half, and they've suddenly picked up one and potentially two here after a money bonus reset. Not if Hades, though, can collect Pokeball kills like that. His fruit will get captured. And that leaves us back into two on two. Bomb's still ticking away, though. Zek in a decent position to cover off the player from construction. This does mean that all Demise has to do is make sure that no one's gonna push through when Hades tries to do it. He actually gets the kill. Zek covers it off, and that's a bit surprising. So now Zek has to win this duel with Lawrence because he does have a kit and he does have time. So he'll get this diffuser, will he? I'm not 100% sure. Yes, he will. Okay. Yeah, he will. That's heartbreaking. That, that's a round that Mousepaz should definitely not lose. They get into that bomb site because it was because Emsa just found on those two kills on a triple push by Tempo Storm. They had so much utility for post plant. Those choke points were so incredibly smoked off. I don't know. How Hades, I mean, Pop flashed himself in, but he gets that one kill over towards, uh, over towards Banana with the, with the guy in water right behind him, not, not trading it off quick enough, so, I mean, that's just, that's just so incredibly tough for Mousepass. When everything went their way that round, it all gets shut down immediately. And that was a round that if they win, I mean, this is starting to look like a much better half for Mousepass. They're at five rounds, and, you know, we're saying they've got a shot going forward, but... They just get denied, and, and actually early on here, they're also doing well. Shazam brought down towards 7 HP. He's not going to be able to be too aggressive. Lots of early damage out both ways. As again, most best setting up for defaults. This from Demise will cover off the inside of the lane. The one thrown beside him, that'll land inside the front window of the truck. That completely isolates Pit. I'm stuck on a smoke bang, Moses. It's all you. Alright, well, Hades just ruined everything, and Glorens is going to chime in on Apolly as well, so this hit is really going nowhere. He even spots one in the smoke and cleans it up. So it's all down to fruit, but Shazam's going to find him, and it, Hades behind that smoke up under porch just is so much damage. That's going to be 11 to 4 for Tempo Storm. I mean, 11 to 4 is the half they need. That's that's kind of what we talked about. Their halves have been 46% terrorists win rate, 20 in the last five maps, and 48 on CT. So this is a significant improvement, that's for sure. Yeah, no, it, it absolutely is. I mean, part of it too is Mousepass didn't really do too much to kind of throw them off their game. I mean, it wasn't really a whole lot of fights going in. It just came down to those late round executes that we see on Inferno so often. So... Tempo Storm was able to, you know, with withstand the pressure and kind of respond in those late round situations. Smokes up at the top mid for the starting pistol. Stanislaw finds Imsta. He gets caught at bench. That's really aggressive and stands wise to the fact that they might be pushing more. He'll one tap on Pauly and he's not done looking that direction yet, but Zex will get 
the exchange in his favor as he walks around the corner. Glords, meanwhile, though, he'll take down Fruit and Demise. There's a lot of company coming out from the apartments. I don't think he was ready for dinner because Ricks, he wins it. Now it's down to a two-on-one. Zek throws the bomb down. That's actually well played. Or excuse me, Ricks throws the bomb down. Zek's the one on the rotation here, but he's got such low HP that this is looking like TS might pick this round up as well. As Hades is going to wait inside the bomb site. And Rix will just wait for the call on that, making sure he's not going to get flanked out from the apartments. And Zek, as he walks around the corner, Hades makes no mistake. Hades is a pretty solid pistol player, by the way. Yeah, he's uh, he's had some uh, nice pistol rounds in the past. That, there's that one clip of him winning that 1 versus 5. That was absolutely insane. Which also had a 4K in the early part of the round as well. That was nuts. Nine kills, two players, one round. Wait, what? That round you're referring to on Inferno, where he got the 1 on 5? Yeah. That started with a 4K. I can't remember oh, who got the from 4K. The opposing, from the opposing. Yeah. Yep, yeah. So it was you. nine kills, two players. In that yeah, round. I gotcha. I thought you were telling me Hades got like four TKs, and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> nine kills, one right? round, one Good play. Good for you, Hades. <laughs> Amazing. Some kind of special. Imps is isolated completely. It gets mowed down. That Molotov working perfectly, and Polly's now in just the worst spot imaginable. The spot that everyone's going to check. He just flies out. Rix is waiting for it. Eliminates him, but they're a little bit wary for that. It almost probably felt too easy to him because they think it's possible there might be a stack in that B bomb site behind it. Shazam, though, managing to pick up two. One with the SMG and Smart Use swapping over to the pistol takes down Demise. Now Zek, one on five. As Tempo Storm continue to build this lead and get that much closer to the end of the match. And it'll be one more save. Oh, they're actually going to force it. Super aggressive. Most bad is trying to get back into this early and not let this get too far to hand and too far away from them. Yeah, I mean, they, they kind of really do have to. You know, I mean, they they have no mistakes to really work with at this point. And while, while I mean, very aggressive, it's, it's just their only option. They need to get back on the board. They need to get some momentum going their way. They need to find something that's going to give them hope. But it's not going to be this all-out B-push. Polly, although he does take out two, so... Like a little bit of a hero early on. Down to a five on three, and those were two of the MP7s that were eliminated. Even Shazam blind gets taken out. That's the bomb as well. Nicely done from Imsta and Polly over a B. Demise. Waiting on the balcony has already put fruit up on top of Patio, so they'll try and utilize this position to their advantage. As Tempo Stormer... Definitely hurting this round. This is well played by Mousepaz. Rex will grab the bomb. Hades is going to lead the charge up Banana. It is a 2-2 take, so they have a chance if they can execute correctly to at least get the bomb down. But they have to do it efficiently and keep some HP in their favor if they even get that far. Because then they've got to play against three players on a retake. And around the corner they go. Molotov out to isolate. Pauly, he's only got 16 HP, and Imsta, he's even lower, so this could work out, but not like that. Pauly slides out, he gets overlooked, they had tunnel vision on the back side of the site. Hades, though, he'll make up for it, he collects two, smoke off on CT, does give him the space required to put the bomb down. But he's gonna have to be absolutely heroic, and in fact, he fakes it because he thinks they're closer. Little yeah, that, does he know, they're both on banana. That fake might have done him in, gave Maspez a little bit time to work with. No kit, though. But in a two-on-one, they should be able to move quickly enough to double-team him there behind those triple boxes. Fruit comes in first. First nade goes into Emo. They don't want to make sure he's in there waiting and hiding, and Fruit fought him up through the crack. There's nothing Hades can do. It was a great attempt. But this defuse will go to Mouse Spaz, and that force buy pays off. Yeah, it really does. Uh, it was surprising, actually, that, I mean, there were so many players. Part of it, too, was, I mean, Tempo Storm, they're certainly able to buy this round. They kept, they kept multiple SMGs that round, so they're going to have full economy behind this, especially with that bomb plant, so. And even Shazam picking up that AWP. We're going to see what he has in sword for us on the T side. I've said it a couple times, I really think this is one of the most difficult maps for an opera to get started on the T side. Uh, it's very hard to find find places to, to provide opening and to be effective as a sniper on, on Inferno with all the smokes and Molotovs and choke points and all the possible pop flashes. It's just brutal. Glorans, they don't even want to get inside Banana right now. Tempo Storm, really passive setup. This allows them to actually, they started playing passive on that smoke. But now they kind of get out to the car, they shuffle out a little bit based on the fact that they haven't seen much going on. Meanwhile, there's tons of exchanges going on in A, and that's where Hades will find fruit to open up the round. So Tempest Storm have the lead again in this one. It's 
see if that pays off for them or not. Yeah, Hades finds an easy one too. It's it's fruit just lining up uh, his own pop flash gets punished for it. And now they're just going to slow things down a little bit with this mid advantage. See what mouse pass, how they're going to respond, where they're going to peek, and it's going to be probably game pop flash and mid. Shazam's actually boosted up a little bit out of the uh, out of the light pole, which is a really annoying annoying texture to have to shoot through as a in this game. But either way, Polly gets away with his life, and he's going to readjust over towards B. So now the defense is split, and now it's just up to Tempo Storm to find out where they want to hit together. And it's looking like they're going to reconvene over towards that B bomb site. Lauren's no smoke. CT, Stan just trying to hold in the two players on A. Demise, in fact, he's done it successfully because Demise is still looking, so is Zach, who hasn't left Pit. And of course, the call should always be never leave Pit until you spot bomb on A. But either way, he's kept Demise there. That's the bigger issue, but that won't even matter. Look at Imsta. He's already found three in the round, and now he's going to get... Tried to get scouted out by Shazam, but they're tripping over each other. Shazam hits them through the pillar. Quite impressive stuff in the end, but the time's expired, and the counter terrorists pick up the round. Simply as the hourglass, the last grain of salt falls away. And Tempo Storm just waiting far too long and getting absolutely cut apart in the entry. Yeah, that, that's that's a shame. Uh, but it was a nice crossfire by Mouse Pass. Really, really good. And this this could actually, I mean, this is a thing where we talked about Tempo Storm with that weak seaside. If they let Mouse Pass get too much momentum, if they let him get back into this match, that's going to be very scary. You beat him up in the first half, you want to keep that confidence low, but... I mean, not not exploiting a 5-on-4 there in that kind of a situation is uh, is just a little bit rough. And even on top of that, no money was made that round by Santa's launch, Shazam. They both survived. And there goes the op very, very quickly out of, out of Shazam's hands. Lawrence, drive-by on fruit. A little bit of damage. Actually, a decent amount of damage. 75 as he pushes him back, but... Demise comes over to compensate. He'll bring the M4. Zek's gonna fall. Look at Polly. He's already rotated over from B. So they're putting a lot of faith in Imps to hold on to B solo right now. But he may not even get that chance. He may not even have to. Although I say that, and as I do, TS look to fall back inside, and Polly looks to do the same. So Mousepads are using timing to their advantage right now to try and shut down exactly what TS are attempting to do. Yeah, and playing very passively. They don't want to give up a kill that would give them any reason to get back into this. They also know they're still an op in play, so they've got to be very careful of what Rix is gonna do. And he's going to pick into this B bomb site, where it's Imsta and Polly waiting for it. Another crossfire set up by them and spawn, and by second oranges. Although Imsta's being relatively cavalier, he might get caught out, and he is. It's now all on Polly. He's forced back into construction. He's just got to hold him off from getting into garden. And that's what he's going to attempt to do. As he waits for them to come around the corner, and so far it's successful. He'll find Hades. Stan realizes that he's got a heck of a problem on that side, so he'll fall back out and watch CT Connector, where Zek is attempting to come back in. Meanwhile, his two teammates, Rex Glorens, they both wait inside Banana to go for a late repeek. And Rex with the op has to hit this shot on Zek to even give them a chance of doing it. He'll find the first. The bomb's already being defused. Demise is pushing out to hold them in place, and Rex can't find that kill. And Fruit found Glorens directly before that, so Mouse Pass hold true. And again, another round going their way. Tempo Storm, it started off as a good half, but it hasn't necessarily worked off since those first two rounds. 11-4 at halftime, it's 13-7 now, and the struggles seem to be continuing a little bit for them on their terrorist side. Now, that was an eco and a bomb plant, so that was a reasonable round, but post-plant didn't exactly work in their favor. Here's the thing, though. Zek is now the opera for Mouse Spaz, and he's got one in his hands. We haven't really seen too much of it out of him this match, first on the Terra side and then just a low economy. And he's done some damage with this AWP in the Pro League throughout the season. He's going to peek out apartments, but he gets caught out. He misses the first shot. Five Tempo Storm players there just mow him down through the glass. So far, so good. Again for TS, who find another early pick. They were converting those early on. The last two times they've done that, it hasn't amounted to much. But they do have Freak pushed under the truck, and good trade. Glorin's the second one down. It's raining terrorist players, and unfortunately the puddle gets too big. And his guts will dilute inside the water as now the bomb goes down for Glorin's. Polly, Imsta, all that's left. Smokes go off in front of the library. Polly with no vision, but Imsta's in a decent position right now, actually sneaking up the apartment hallways. Just wants to be careful how he enters, and with his teammate already down, he may not enter at all. Yeah, that's rough. He, he was on a very fast flank, but Tempo Storm just grabbing that round by the horns. They didn't want to give it up to anything slow pace. As soon as they got that pick, it seems like the, the strategy they called was going to be that no matter what, but the pick just helped them out. And there's Shazam. Imsta finally does peak. 
to try and make a miracle happen, but that gets ended very, very quickly, so 14-7 to 7 now. And the economy for Mousepads is actually surprisingly extremely beat up. Only one player, Polly, can really buy anything of worth. The rest of them are just going to have to pick up pistols, and, and they're going to let him get to 15. They're going to give him that huge advantage, not going to force by here. And they're going to have to play uh, and win eight straight rounds. No mistakes uh, allowed. Well, we'll see if they can make this work. If they can claw themselves one more round out of this before they give up that match point, even just to give them a bit of momentum moving forward and prolonging it as much as possible, but not like this, not with Hades finding Zek and Demise already going down, so TS are looking poised to put themselves on 15. Still two players to contend with in B, one of which is Imsta, he finds Rex. But back to A they go, they've actually gone for the slinky like you said last time. Up toward A, back down mid a little bit, and now they're going to push, but they've got Pauly and Imsta pushing. This is very aggressive stuff from Mousepads, they don't want to give up any information or any room at all, and Shazam's going to make them pay for it as he walks out. The op holds true, Fruit gets in behind him, takes him back down, but it's still three players up for TS. They'll get this bomb down, and Fruit won't be able to do anything other than hold on to this op, potentially, to fight off the match point. Nice shot midair, I like that. Yeah, it was pretty stylish. Pretty stylish, but I mean, that's all he's going to get away with, so... It's going to put him up onto 15. But that is a good find. With how low the economy is, anything they can salvage for a teammate is absolutely perfect. That'll allow Zek, I believe, to... He'll be able to drop a gun if needed. Uh, because he has that ADP, he'll be able to drop that over to Demise. So they should have a pretty good buy on this round, but... I mean, well, once again, it's another one of those situations, despite being on the Terrace half where they've had struggles, where it is the harder half on this map, Tempo Storm, they have eight straight match points, and that's going to be so difficult to deal with. And he can't even survive with it. He's going to get taken out by Glorens right at the last second, so all that just goes out the window. Nice hunt by Glorens there. Yeah, that's um, massively detrimental, you'd have to say. So we'll find out if it's going to get wrapped up. We'll move into the third match of the night. But not if Mousepads have anything to say about it with three Famosas and two M4s to work with. It's just in good position though, in fact. Using that smoke to his advantage knows that it's covered off the main alley, so all he has to watch is the potential gap on the left, and that's exactly where his opposition was coming from, but... They did trade back on a demise. Fruit finding Shazam though. Now they've got a two-man advantage. It's Glorens and Stanislaw. So they actually buy them a whole lot of time. Not just weapons in the round as Glorens will sneak back up the stairwell. Fruit's holding from Graveyard. Polly's staring at the doorway from top middle. There's not much place for him to walk in and try and enter. And Stanislaw's actually divided up. He's over toward Banana right now. Interestingly, look at Polly and Zek. They've fallen back simply on that timing, simply on a call that they hadn't seen anyone on A, so this will actually give them a bit of a chance to get that opening that Glorens formerly didn't have. And he's going to try and take it to the arch side. Zex playing passive, trying to support on Fruit. And as he pops back out, they actually spot him. He knows both are there. Now they've got full information. They'll rotate both over from B site, but Glorens has to hit the shot right now, and not with Fruit coming out from inside the pit. He cancels that opportunity before it even exists. Stan did manage to land it, but that was too late at that point. And Mouse Pass pick up one more round to prolong the inevitable, well, I won't say inevitable, but to prolong their fate a little bit more, a little bit further. Yeah, I mean, that was that was really nice defense, uh, Fruit pushing up in halls like that. I mean, you were talked about Rick's finding, or uh, not Rick's, but someone over towards B finding a, finding a gap in the smoke, Amstone using it very, very well. Fruit did the same thing in halls, actually got two kills out of it, just peering underneath the corner, so a little bit gimmicky, but it works out for him. And that forces a save out of tempo, so... They've got a lot of rounds to work with, no reason not to, just be cautious with it, make sure you can have as many full buy rounds as possible to close this match out. And so far, Zek is making good on... But as Hades gets back into him, Demise finds Shazam, so it's still a man advantage, but not with Hades coming around. The Deagle works to his favor. Demise, though, he'll pop back out, and with the fire separating the last player on Rex, he has to be desperate. Does manage to find Polly, pick up an M4 to use. He's got it down to a one on two. Imsta. Great aim, though, with the FAMAS. That could have been interesting. If Rex hit that kill and he pulled that round back, that would have been pretty heroic. 
So really, the only the only gun round that Tempo Storm has won this half is when they got that pick on a Zek who was who tried to peer down uh, from the balcony, and then they just kind of bullied their way out of the halls, just jumping over into pit, raining terrorists. And I mean, outside of that, they really haven't had too much go their way. But no op in the hands of of anyone this round except for Shazam. Zek doesn't have one. He hasn't really picked it up much at all this whole match, which is very, very surprising. Polly's gonna open up on a Santa's Law, so Masma is still winning the early battles and even going up two, Demise takes out Hades. No opportunity for rebuttals from Tempo Storm until Glorence. He does take out Imsa, brings it into a three on four. Shazam's passively waiting for someone to push into Boiler. No one's really getting aggressive for Mouse Pass. There's no reason to at this point. They've got the man advantage. They just need to hold on and play conservative. Mistakes will cost them dearly at this point. So why bother making them? Why bother putting yourself in an open position to get caught off guard? And that's exactly the case. As they're both passive on B, they're both extremely passive on A. We've got Demise inside Graveyard watching toward... The apartments and Fruit's going to watch down the alleyway. It does leave a gap toward Arch, but they'd be able to compensate for that with Demise peeking back over the railing and Fruit would be able to slide really quickly. So it all works in their favor. The difference now is that Pauly started to come over to Speedway. Well, he realizes he has the only smoke over at that B bomb site, so he's got to go back, and that's actually not the right call. Two players lined up in B, Fruit, or in A, excuse me, Fruit and Demise with a nice crossfire. That's where this hit is going to be coming into play. Demise waits, though. This position in the graveyard, it's such a peculiar one because if you're spotted, you're trapped, but when you're not, it works out perfectly, and so far that's the case, but he's blinded up. He can't find the shot on Glorens. He does eventually, but the bomb has been planted. Nonetheless, it's a one-on-four. Shazam, he's not going to find himself out of this one too easily at all, and he realizes it. He's going to run away, so this will hit double digits now for Mouse Spaz. They're making it close. The very best, we're going to overtime. The very worst, it's over just as quick. There's another yeah. round. What what a ballsy plant, though. Just get into the bomb site when you're blind and just see where you're planting it. He actually gets away with it, gets it down. That's huge for his team. And they're, they're surprisingly going to force by here. So they've bought, they've bought armor. They've bought tech nines. They've bought utility. And they're just hoping this op in, uh, op in the hands of Shazam and this AK-47 in the hands of Hades can do some work for him. This is a very aggressive decision. Super aggressive decision. I, like... This is one of those ones where, I, I guess at this point, it doesn't matter. You've already secured regulation. You're not going to give away rounds and potentially throw a match. The best you can do is buy yourself back in it, but you're limiting your economy. 100%. You have to, you're, you're potentially getting them up to something like 14 before you play for that GG. Although in this case, I think it'd be mathematics. They'd be back in it when they're on 12. Either way, it's if they were on 14 rounds right now and making this decision, I'd be a lot more critical of it. Nice pop flash. That does catch Shazam. Well right thrown. Perfectly comes out at the corner and Shazam has to fall back down the stairwell. Polly's position very aggressive as well. He's relying on that flash to come over, but Hades spots it up, manages to dodge it. They do get the trade though. Zek's gonna go one further, actually bring it back to an advantageous situation before the Tech-9 slides back out. And Demise is right there to cover it off, so it's all left to Shazam again. And is this hop from two rounds ago gonna get saved one more? That's the big question. He actually looks like he might want to try and open up some space right now. Two players inside the site, or at least over on the arch, or, or excuse me, the truck side, and the last player on the arch, it's Impsta, and he makes the kill. Moses, I haven't sent him past a once tonight. I know, you've been doing really, really good. Really Thanks, good. Man. I'm, I'm proud of you. It's only taken like three or four matches with him in the server. <laughs> <laughs> and all of last season, you know, right, whatever. Yeah. That's all right, no big deal. Here's the question for Tempo Storm is, is I mean, now they're going to be onto a save. They're going to buy some pistols. They're going to upgrade a little bit. And even, a, I mean, they have the full loony bonus, so, so they buying armor isn't really too big of a deal. But who's going to get the entries for them and to get this last round? I mean, who's going to find it? Because... They're putting Shazam in, in spots to, to see if he can find a pick to see if Bowspass is going to give him one, but they're not. So who outside of Shazam is going to find that? And I mean, to me, you got to look to your star players. you got to look to a guy like Rix. you got to look to a guy like Lawrence. One of, some, some of those guys to find something early for your squad. Mm -hmm. I have to agree. Stan's great when he's inside the site defensively, but on entries and on picks, I mean, Glorens is a guy that's been around... Reliable Gaming Season 15. Did some time on the stream team, but he's definitely seen some action, and he can open up a site when he gets rolling. He's actually, in my opinion, been a guy that's had a kind of a 
quieter season than I was hoping for from him. So it'd be awesome to see him unleash it right now when it's needed just to get out this last round. Hades has the Deagle waiting inside apartment stand. He's going to use the Tech Knight to overwhelm Demise. Works successfully, but Zex already peeked out, found the first shot. And he waits actually very passively for the angle to work at his advantage on Stan. It does, but when that Molotov comes out, it catches him off. He doesn't know what to do, and he gets a little bit confused and hesitant, and as a result, does go down. And now... Tempo Storm have this play in their favor. They've got the bomb down, a man up, smoke off in the front of library. That prohibits Insta's entry, but Pauly's already found Ricks. So it does come back down to a two on two. Glorens is stuck inside the site, and they've already spotted up Hades inside pit. He needs to make sure he nails this shot on Pauly as soon as he comes out of the apartments. Otherwise, this could go against them, and it could definitely go against them now as Insta's already found Glorens, and that's exactly the case. Hades had no idea he rotated through Boiler. The, 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 I mean, the place between, oh, the place between Ricks and, and Glorens there just just cost him that round. I mean, that's a round they had in the bag. They had plenty of time to set up in great post plant positioning. Uh, Ricks is overextended. No chance for any support from your teammate peeking with the op from from porch side. I mean, no reason to be there in that situation. Just get into pit, play your double pit, use the op on range, close off small pit for your teammate. And Glorens, I mean, just hide in the bomb site. He pushes out and he tries to take a clever battle as smoke is disappearing and he gets punished for it. I mean, there's no read for those. There's no need for those kind of plays on match point when it's a three on two with the bomb down. I'm interested to see how Fruit's going to play this because they are trying to get some aggression in toward the halls. Mid smoke on banana. It's a little bit further down this time than what we've seen in the previous round. So this does let Polly try and push with Imsta, but Imsta's taking a good amount of damage. Down to 17, so they have to switch that back to a passive position. Does give a little bit of map control to TS should they choose to utilize it. But again, they just want to get inside these apartments right now, and Fruit was so aggressive. Lawrence, though, he's wanting to slide back up. Flash out from Hades. They may still find an entry here on this A site. Rix is going to come back over, so it's pretty much all in right now on this play. Good counter flash out from Demise, though. That caught out Stan and Hades. They'll bounce themselves one off the doorway with a right click to try and clear patio. Smoke off on Arch, and they haven't found it. And this far into the site without anything found, they're potentially walking into an awesome crossfire, and I think they're a little bit aware of that, so they start to reconsider and reconvene with a potential take on Banana late. It's not going to be the case. They've got 27 seconds. They've got to go now. Late smoke on Arch. Second one's out in front of Library. Does let them get to the corner, but Zex won't allow them much round at all as he finds two. It's Ricks to go down. Stan does get back into Zex. Hades now has the entry on Fruit. They'll pick up the bomb in Shazam's hands, and he'll just barely get to the bomb site before the damage comes out from Imsta inside the Library. And Polly's joining. Again, it's a three-on-two post plant. We saw what happened last time for Mouse Pass to get us into this round. It could have been over so quickly. This time, it's slightly different positions. They don't have a player directly inside the pit. Stands up inside of the graveyard, and it's two inside the site, so a bit of a peculiar stack, and that may work out for them as Pauly now finds himself completely mowed apart in the crossfire after Imsta goes down, and they'll collect the last and elusive round. Tempo Storm 16-12.